Hey everybody, I'm Lex from PDQ.com. I'm gonna take you through installing PDQ for the first time. Whether this is a license install or a trial or a free install, the install is basically the same. Uh, if you're doing the trial, you're gonna get a link to download the executable. I've got mine on my desktop. You'll also get a license key. I've copied mine and put mine into a text file on the desktop. And this is what we're gonna do. We'll just uh, double click on the executable, follow the instructions, it's pretty easy. We'll give it a next. now. The defaults are gonna be the easiest route to go. Again, here's the license agreement. If you read that somewhere at the bottom, you agree to be my towel boy or carry my gym bag for me to the gym. Just kidding. Uh, basically it just tells you, you know, one license per admin, that kind of a thing. You hit next, okay? We'll just take the default for the install location and hit install. Pretty easy, huh? Um, this will install uh, on your machine. Now, if you're doing a trial of inventory and deploy, you wanna put those both on the same machine so they can work together. That's how they're designed. There you go, it's done. Let's launch it for the first time. So with that first launch, inventory is gonna start up. It's gonna start asking me, you know, the getting started guide here. And we'll hit next, okay? Uh, Free mode, you can move on. It's gonna be very limited. If you're doing a trial hit, let's put the license in. I'm gonna browse for my license because I told you once again, I put it on my desktop. So desktop, inventory license, give that an okay. Give that an okay. Okay, I'm gonna hit next on that. Now it's gonna come and ask you what type of install you wanna do, whether it's local or central server. Testing, I would highly suggest, unless you plan on doing this with a team, Okay, I would do a local. If you want to do the team install, you know, use central server and have multiple people get into it. Watch the central server install videos. You can do that. But the nice thing is if you want to change it after the fact, you still can. We're going to go local. Give it a next. It's going to ask for credentials. Now, these credentials need to be um, credentials that are either, in my case, we're on a domain. I would do a domain admin level credential because ultimately, when it comes down to pulling data from machines, we're gonna need local, at the very least local admin rights or domain admin rights. And in this case, uh, this is my domain admin I'm logged in as, so. We're gonna give that a finish. Hopefully I typed that right. And inventory is gonna fire up. Now, if I didn't type it right, I'm gonna have to go in and change that, but looks like I did a pretty good job. Now, the first time inventory fires up, it's gonna have one computer in it. Now, there's a bunch of information here. Okay, help and documentation. I wanna point this out. Online documentation over here, forums and knowledge base. There's the getting started guide. You can use that, it's very helpful. Uh, the first time it is going to go and actually scan the local machine it's on. This is on machine Guinness. And there we go, it's scanned and it's pulled computer information, application information, so on and so forth. Really cool that we got one computer, but it really is not that helpful until we get the rest of the network in. Couple of different ways to add computers at this point. If you go up to computer, add computers, you'll notice I can do an Active Directory Sync, which is what I'm going to show you. It's my personal favorite. Uh, you can add them by name. So machines that are not part of Active Directory, you can add you know, work group machines. Uh, you can browse your Active Directory or you can do a network discovery. Again, videos on all those, but let's go with our Active Directory sync. Brings up this page. So here I can set an auto sync, which is a good idea because anytime a new machine comes onto your network uh, in your Active Directory, you're gonna wanna get that synced in here. So I'm gonna do this once every seven days, okay? The delete mode here. Now, if Active Directory is Everything that you have is in Active Directory. You don't need work group machines. You can do a full sync. So if it's in Active Directory, it's gonna be in your inventory. Um, if you've got you know, some works group stuff, um, work group machines that aren't in Active Directory, you wanna do a mixed sync. So I'll do a mixed sync in this case. And then we're gonna go and include a container, okay? Once again, here's my current domain. I can go grab OUs, you know, sub, subs of these, but I'm gonna grab at the top level, include the entire subtree and get all these machines in here. So there is what I'm gonna sync. I'm going to save this and I'm gonna tell it to sync now, but you know what? Great thing is because I've got it on auto sync and it hasn't done a sync yet, it kicked off uh, 
almost instantaneous. And look at this, it went to Active Directory, grabbed all these machines, and is now starting to scan them. Another thing you're going to find is this. Notice right here, I've got an error on the machine, Captain America, failed to resolve host name. What that means is my Active Directory is dirty. I actually deleted that machine. It no longer exists, but it's still in my Active Directory. So this is gonna also let you know how clean or dirty your Active Directory may be. A um, Couple of different ways about going to clean that up. I've got some videos on that, but ultimately we're grabbing information and let's do this. Let's go see some of that information. So I've got 57 machines in my lab, or at least I've got 57 entries in AD. Um, let's go and run a report. We'll do a new report. We'll do a basic report. Uh, nope, you know, that's building a report. I wanted to run a report. Let's go back, run a basic report. Let's go run our applications report. Okay, notice Captain America was highlighted. So it's trying to run that on Captain America. It has no data because it doesn't exist. Let's go select the collection source all computers so I can see the, there it is. There's the software on all the computers, okay? I've got the machine ABBA, I've got Allen Rails, and I'm, this is a lot to look at, right? So what I'm gonna do, because it's an application report, and we do this so that you can choose, do I wanna group it by computer or by application? In this case, I'm gonna group it by application with a right click, group by this column, and now you can see I've got 14 machines that have seven zip on it. There they are. I can uh, scroll through. I've got uh, some Revit metric content on the machine Rick, or MEP Imperial content, oh, metric content is what I clicked on. I've got Bonjour. You know, you can filter here too. Let's go see if I've got anything with the work. I've got two machines that have got Epic Pen on it. So again, I've already pulled data seriously that quick after the install and syncing with Active Directory. With that, Again, you can build dynamic collections and that kind of thing. The place to find out more of this information is in our YouTube site. If you go to playlists and you look at inventory, there's a bunch of different videos in that playlist and they're nice and short and straight to the point. So you can cherry pick what you need. You know, we've already installed it. You don't need to rewatch the install. You wanna watch how to build dynamic collections. You wanna watch the video on how do I clean up my Active Directory and get these, these failed resolve host names out of there. So. That's where you go. There's a lot of good information there for you. I'm Lex from PDQ.com. Thanks for downloading our trial. Appreciate it.